I can go all the way through like so just make sure it's flat like that yeah this thing will take forever uh, my neighbors are enjoying some sounds and I think it's not a good idea because I could be uh, I call that, um, upright <laughs> I better not to let you know that my piston to wall clearance is uh, I just follow this it's three and a half thousand and that's exactly what I got what I did was I, I forgot to uh, show it to you guys earlier but I had how I checked it as I put the piston all the way flush all the way to the skirt to the end of the skirt like so and then I stick the uh, I stick the uh, 3,000 uh, filler gauge on there and I was able to remove the piston with the filler gauge inside. This circlip is a pain in the uh, a little bit. Uh, you know what I mean. But anyway, I got it on there. You're going to hear a click. There. So you know you're in. And I usually just give it a rub. So I know it's in the groove. And... But you never want to put this uh, this open areas, this open area, into the uh, this hub groove right here. Yeah, you don't want to put it on. This is to make it easy. This is to uh, to remove it. So if you had it on, like so, you won't be able to take it out. Well, you can take it out, but it will give you a hard time. So if you have it clocked like so you know like like this one here so you all you need to do is just use your pick put it here and just pry on it okay yeah it's a little bit uh just a little bit of pain in the in the butt but i got it on there but make sure you you got it on there good because otherwise you 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 will know if that thing start coming off on you you know what happened where's the rest of this thing okay <sighs> so what I do is the open end just start here yeah I can get it come on Just kind of push on it till it goes in in an angle just hold like that hold you put your finger on top and push push the one inside into the groove see how the bottom part it's in but the top is not now if I push on it you're gonna hear a click there you go see it's in but to make sure it's just rub on it just put a pressure on it make sure it's on the uh, on the groove and it's in okay the next stop is to put the uh, all these uh, rings into the piston and I'm just gonna go by numbers I know the, the gap is pretty much like the same because I crisscross check it on the, onto the cylinder but I'll just go ahead since I got it numbered I'm just gonna follow that I put some marking on all the pistons just to uh, bear, make sure that uh, sometimes you'll get confused. The idea of this is it's because of this. Okay, so uh, since the front, front, it'll be like that. Okay. Yeah, this one has got a, a little bit of a bind, but I got it all uh, taken care of. And it shouldn't be like that, but uh, while well, you saw what I did, I just this is a 2000 uh, sandpaper. Just uh, wrap it on my uh, socket and I just uh, 
rotate up a couple of times, but uh, should be good. I'm able to uh, to slide it back and forth. We'll see how it goes. Let me see. It should be should be like this. So you can push it in and out with no problem. Somehow this one Yeah. It just a there's a little bit of a a struggle. It's either it's out of round or I don't feel anything. But let me see if I could uh, give it a, a rub one more time. There you go. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Whew, man. All right, let's go back to normal programming. You know, we did have, uh, man, what is up with this? Huh. We did have a. Uh, we were use we were using an Arias piston one time, and uh, we found out that the pin is a little bit a uh, little bit bigger. And what I did is the same thing. I put a socket. I found a socket that fits right in, and put a sandpaper, and just rotated, and it went in. But if it ever if it ever happened to you like that, then that you can do. It won't hurt anything. Okay, one is in. Again, the arrow. This is the uh, intake relief exhaust. And the front, the tabs, is on the exhaust side. So I'm good to go there. And now I'll put this on again. Open and and just push. There you go. You're gonna hear a click. There you go. Again, verify, make sure everything is in. Push it on the glue. Okay. Last thing you want is this thing coming off on you. Well, last thing I don't want is this thing come off on me. Again, this one. Put the end. Squeeze them together. And give it a push. Oh my god. Here, click. Yeah. Last one. Mm. All right, again, you're gonna hear it click. There. All right, I want to verify everything is in. All right, both sides. Alright, my marking correspond to that mark. Marking for the piston. Again, the tabs. It's on the exhaust. This one, verify. Right there. Exhaust. Piston. Mark. The tabs. Cool.
that's just about it for this one. And I managed to uh, get all the ring gap and install it into the pistons and into the connecting rods. So the next step will be into the block. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Like and subscribe. Again, this is the G23 VTEC. The build. Alright? Have a nice day, guys. I'll see you guys back.